in general is an ally of Britain, especially in NATO, and a partner in the European Union. A key, Britain for us is a key partner in the European Union. So uh, we will do our best um, to help Britain, because we want the United Kingdom to remain in the European Union, to be an active member, shaping the rules, regulations in the EU. Of course, we have, we have uh, some red lines. We have the national interests of Poland. Uh, so we will be discussing the details once they are presented by the Prime Minister. But we are ready to help as much as we can. I mean, the biggest problem is probably going to be this question of uh, freedom of movement. Yes. Do you think there's any way that Britain could stop the freedom of movement, people coming to this country from within the EU while remaining a member? We are open to negotiate anything um, unless it's non-discriminatory and it's done in accordance with the EU law. Uh, free movement of people is one of the four fundamental freedoms of the European Union. So we would, we would be against any kind of opt-outs or selective treatment of, of this freedom, cherry-picking things of this kind. But we would support uh, fighting uh, abuse of the system. We, we are open to talk about uh, anything that would be non-discriminatory, as I have said. So because it is important to the Polish economy at the moment that uh, Polish people can come here and work. Of course, many of them go home afterwards. It is important for the economy, but it's more than this. Uh, it's it's uh, important for the European integration and solidarity. This is one of basic freedoms of the European Union. And, 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 and of course, many Britons uh, enjoy this uh, living uh, abroad in many European countries. So this is, this is not just uh, not, any not kind so of special Poland, treatment. Though, yeah. Not so many in Poland, no, but, but many in Portugal, yeah. in Spain, in other places. So, uh, so this, is, uh, this is free movement of people. It shows uh, that we are um, on the same continent. It shows so our solidarity. Yeah. And does that include being able to send a worker here, a Polish worker here, being able to send benefits back to their family who are not resident here? This is uh, one of the things uh, that perhaps differs us, because we think that uh, people from Poland who work here in the United Kingdom are no different from British citizens working here, because we live here, we pay taxes here, we rent apartments here, we use restaurants here, we contribute to the prosperity of this country. So um, uh, paying, uh, paying benefits to children in Poland would be like subsidizing British taxpayers, more or less. There's what if, no if it didn't happen, you mean? Yes. Yeah, there, is, there is no difference between a Polish worker here working <coughs> legally here uh, and a British worker or a French worker or a Spanish or Bulgarian worker. But, it, I mean, you would understand from the point of view of a lot of British people, they might see, well, we're paying a lot of money into Poland, Poland's not paying a lot of money in our direction. I don't know if this is, this is true, because uh, the contribution of the migrants here um, is second to none. It's in billions of pounds, the contribution to the British budget. So we are contributing. Uh, plus, we, we are also contributing in the European Union, uh, for example, the rebate of the United Kingdom. So, so it's, not, it's not like this. Uh, they, they work here, and they pay taxes here, and they contribute to the prosperity of Britain. We would like to have them in Poland, especially young people, because they would work for our pensions, and they would contribute to a lot to our prosperity in Poland. At, at the moment, the difference in, wa difference in wages is, is such that they, they would rather work here. Now, your capital, Warsaw, was one of the first that David Cameron visited on his uh, yes. tour to build up support. Uh, you were there. Do you get the impression that David Cameron really, really does want to keep Britain within the European Union? Yes, this is my impression. Uh, the Prime Minister presented areas of concern um, that, uh, wh where he would like to see reform in the European Union and with a lot of things we can, we can agree and we can subscribe to his vision. Uh, we should reduce the red tape, we should work for a more competitive Europe, create more jobs, etc. So uh, we should ensure the equality of treatment with, between Euro countries and non-Euro countries. Poland is not in the Eurozone just like the UK, so we can subscribe to many of, uh, of, of, of the postulates uh, presented by the Prime Minister. No, I, I, I think the Prime Minister believes uh, in Europe because he knows how much uh, the UK uh, gets from the membership, uh, and, but also Europe gets a lot from the membership of the UK. You know Britain very well. You've worked here as a diplomat since the late 70s. Do you think we are a Eurosceptic anti-European country as a whole? 
I don't know. It's very difficult to say. It's, a lot is about perceptions, about feelings. Uh, the role of the media uh, here is, um, is very specific, I would say, in this. Uh, no, I think, I, I think a lot of people uh, can see the benefits uh, of membership. If you go to the city of London, if you, if you talk to, 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 to people uh, there, they appreciate uh, how important the membership of the EU is. Uh, a lot of people have misconceptions, perhaps, and we should clarify those misconceptions and and we should work for more integration of migrants uh, here get to know each other better fight ignorance and show uh, the positive contributions of uh, immigrants and, and perhaps also make a difference between third countries and the European Union this is not really migration this is free movement of people as I say free circulation of brains in the European Union and what do you say as you as you go around Britain when people say to you well why should we bother why should we stay in the European Union what's your answer to that uh, well, um, we are not interfering in the internal affairs of the UK, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to present uh, the national interest of Poland in this mm. respect, not so much give sure. advice. People must give ask advice. You, they must say, what's the point? Uh, 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 this, is, this is what I always say, that uh, um, I, re and I, I, I try to, to say a few words about the history of the European Union, how it started after the Second World War, and how, uh, how good it was uh, for, the, for, for Europe in general, preventing us from fighting wars and, and also uh, contributing to the prosperity of the continent. And some people say, yes, it's very different now because we started with six founding members, now we have a lot of members of the EU. Uh, uh, but look, it's, 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 also about, it's, it's also about trade, it's also about investment, it's also about freedom. It's about uh, a lot of things that are taken for granted. And this is a pity because a lot of people think this is taken for granted. It will be forever. And it's not the case. I mean, it's, it's, we, we should appreciate the benefits of the membership, not just the new, so-called new countries, we don't like the term, but also, but also the founding members uh, of the communities. And how do you think the referendum is going to go in this country? I hope Britain is going to remain in, the United, in, the, in, in, in Europe because this is, this is important to all of us, but it will be a democratic decision of the British population. Ambassador, thank you. Thank you.